facts. So basically, I did exactly what I just was saying. I might have to do. I went in here into the fabric policies, um, into the interface policies, and <laughs> out of the interface selector, I just removed 148, then added it back in, and we lost that one error that we were having. So we still got one fault, it looks like. Um, so this is saying our bridge domain is monkeyed up. So we haven't gotten there. So we'll go ahead and handle that right now. Um, so our bridge domain, this was from before. I was just testing OSPF out. So it, this that fault is basically, I think, just saying that it's trying to reference this managed object that doesn't exist anymore, which makes a lot of sense. Of course, it would be upset. So that should hopefully clear the fault. And it did. So that's good. And we'll go ahead and actually set it up the way we want it to. So we have HP out. I'll update that. Should be okay. No faults. The tenant's nice and happy. Now it looks like our DDP neighbor came up. So now we're pinging. So we're not getting any routes yet. Um, we can look here in the subnets for the thing we uh, for the bridge domain. We can see that they're all public. So eventually they will get advertised. But right now there's nobody that's there's nothing in this bridge domain to, to make them active. So effectively I. The way I understand it is we have to have at least something that lives in that bridge domain in order for it to uh, start advertising anything that's within the bridge domain. You can think of it like an aggregate address in BGP. If you don't have some subset of that aggregate, the aggregate's never going to get advertised. So I'll go ahead and pause this video, then we'll come back and do the application profile and get an EPG in there so we can turn some stuff on.